Okay, so we've got P is a number, and 12 is the highest common factor of 24 and P. So that means that 12 is the biggest number that goes into 24 and P. So work out two different possible values for P. Well, let's write multiples of P down, shall we? Shall we write 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, and then we keep going. So 12 is the biggest number that goes into 24. 12 is the highest common factor. 12 is the biggest number that goes into 24 and P. So, well, one of our numbers could be 12, couldn't it? So if 12 is the biggest number, it fits into 12. And if P was actually 12, it fits into itself as well. Okay, that one works. Or we could have chose 36. We can't choose 24 because 24 would be the common, highest common factor there. We could choose 36. That's a number that uh, goes into uh, 24 and it goes into 36, 12 goes into both of those, and it's the biggest one. The 12 is the biggest also, 12 isn't the biggest number to go into 24 and 48, because obviously uh, 24 goes into 48, so 24 must be bigger. We could have also chosen 60 and so on and so on and so on. So it just takes a little bit of thinking about, um, go back over it, check and understand.